Welcome to Real Life. I hope you're having a great day. Today's episode is a brief visit to the operator's office of the Kelowna Floating Bridge back in 1961. The floating bridge was a three-lane, 650-meter or 2133-foot-long floating bridge in British Columbia, Canada, opened in 1958, replacing the ferry service. It crossed Okanagan Lake, connecting the west side area to Kelowna on the lake's eastern side. Taller boats such as sailboats were able to pass under the lift span which was located on the east end of the bridge. Completed in 1958, the bridge was the first of its kind in Canada. The bridge was partially funded through tolls which were collected from its opening until April 1, 1963. Originally, the bridge had only two lanes, one in each direction, but in 1984, the bridge deck was reconfigured and a third lane was added. This new lane became a counterflow lane and would allow the lanes to adjust to traffic demand at different times of the day. The lift span was also raised by the CPR tug Okanagan during its routine trips up and down the lake, pushing barges loaded with refrigerated boxcars. In the days before mechanical refrigeration, these unique cars were outfitted with eight rooftop ice hatches facilitating quick loading of ice to keep the fruit cold during transport. The floating bridge was eventually replaced as it outlived its usefulness and was incapable of supporting the traffic levels. The construction of the new replacement bridge, the William R. Bennett Bridge, began in 2005 and was completed in 2008. The new bridge opened on May 25, 2008 and the old bridge closed May 31st. It was decommissioned in 2009. I invite you to add your comments and corrections to the comments section on our YouTube page. Crowdsourcing works. Nearly everyone has a specific knowledge on these various subject matters far beyond what any one person could possibly have. As always, please feel free to share these vintage films and videos. For licensing requirements, please contact me by email.